Hello YouTube, thanks for watching. So in this video I want to talk about um, focus, uh, lead generation, what we should be focused on um, in order to really make things work um, and what I'm kind of focused on. There are certain changes that I've been making in order to you know grow my business and why have I decided to make those changes? So you know first of all we're, we're, all, we're all on a journey. We're all on a journey of exploration. We've all got our own personal reasons why. All right. And, uh, you know, if we're honest with ourselves, we've we've made we've made a lot of mistakes. And uh, the more mistakes you make, um, you know, the uh, the more likely you're, you know, you're going to learn from those mistakes and you're going to generate the success you need. I, and I th I'm honestly speaking, I think we all know that uh, the people who have generated the most amount of success are the very people who have uh, obviously made, made the most mistakes. So, um, you know, I'm on a journey of exploration and I want to, uh, um, you know, that, that's what I do. I mean, I, I'm an, uh, kind of an analytical kind of person. I like to split test. I like to see what works. And obviously, I'm not going to continue to do the things that have worked less for me, um, you know, if I found other ways to, to make things work better. So that's what I want to talk about in this video. So I've taken a little... Uh, different tactics you know i i do in all honesty you know i want to focus more on um um you know the things that are duplicatable uh, i want to focus more on the things that people can manage and people can handle and i want to be you know the one to you know do that so that uh, you know what what i do people are more likely to follow and I know that in the past I have tended to be kind of technical and a little bit geeky and I tend to work with a lot of marketing systems and, and although those are fantastic and they absolutely work incredibly well, um, you know, they only work up to a point. And what I mean by that is that, uh, you know, I, I've been able to build up an a, a incredibly huge mailing list and that helps, you know, and I continue to tell people to, you know, build up your your following um, but not only just build up your following, but build up, you know, build up relationships with that following. Um, so yes, you know, I love using funnels and, uh, you know, marketing systems and marketing tools. And, and I will, you know, obviously continue to use those. Um, but, uh, you know, my kind of game plan has slightly changed. You know, I'm, I'm uh, very much focused on social media, you know, fo Facebook. I want to focus, you know, on my YouTube channel, obviously. Because at the end of the day, you know, these tools are free to use and they don't actually require a whole lot of skill. You know, people think that they do. But, uh, you know, if you really, you know, I mean, a little background story about me. Um, when I got into network marketing, the, I, I, I never used social media at all. I didn't I didn't touch it. I was too scared to use social media. You know, it was a bit is a little bit like um, how some people, you know, shy away from using the telephone in network marketing. You know, I mean, back in the 90s, when I joined network marketing for the first time, it was, you know, the telephone was the only thing we had as a tool to work with. That was our marketing tool. You know, nowadays we have marketing systems. We have, you know, we can create videos. We can send those out. Um, but, uh, you know, the telephone was really the only tool we had. I mean, obviously, you can go out to the town, you can prospect. And that's what you should do anyway. But um Back in the 90s, you know, all we had as a marketing tool was the telephone. OK, and if you if you couldn't use the telephone, you were pretty stuck in your network marketing business. Um, so, um, you know, I mean, re really, guys, you, you know, that that's that's the way I, that's what I thought when I first came into network, you know, when I got back into network marketing after, you know, the Internet um, and, you know, social media. You know, I didn't I mean, everyone was using social media. Everyone was using Facebook. Um you know, and people using different chat systems or, you know, they're all kind of the same thing. You know, there were sort of social, you know, what we call social networking systems or whatever, you know, Facebook, Instagram. Back then there was, a, you know, a lot of people using Skype. There were a lot of Skype groups. Nowadays, you know, people use Telegram groups, um, Facebook groups, Facebook chat groups, Facebook Messenger. But uh, for actual, you know, really trying to network with people um, who are kind of outside your circle, you know, nowadays, you know, we really do use a lot of uh, Facebook and, it, and uh, you know, it's it's free. You know, there's, uh, you know, everyone has a, a, a Facebook and a social media platform. 
And, you know, I found that uh, recently my, my social media has really, really grown. I'm getting a lot of uh, traction. I get a lot of engagement. Um, and I'm really not doing any extra work so much. I'm just, you know, I spend a quite a bit of time thinking about what, what do I need to, you know, really think, you know, think about here. Because uh, at the end of the day, I mean, I think a lot of people are, you know, really keeping an eye, you know, believe it or not, people really do keep an eye on what you do. You know, even though sometimes people are not actually engaging in what you do. I, you know, I, I do track a lot of stuff. I do find out where people are coming from. I, that's what I love about LiveGood is because you can actually track the entire process through into in, into your LiveGood system by using the tracking um, link at the end of the URL. So, and it's interesting to see that, you know, sometimes even posts that actually don't have a lot of engagement, such as likes and, uh, you know, and comments, I do sometimes see people actually clicking those links, you know, so people are in fact lurking, they're lurking, they're, they're, you know, it might sound scary to some, you know, they, they seem like stalkers, but you know, people don't always in, engage or interact. So you really do need to keep just keep plugging away. Because people do click on your links, people are paying attention, and it's going to take some time before you do actually finally get some traction. Um, and um, you know, I think people give up too early, thinking this is not working. I've been doing this for you know two, three, five, six months or, or more, and I'm not getting any traction. Now, one of the things you know I would recommend people to do is not just post the same old thing. I see a lot of people posting the ad types. You know, they're doing sort of advertising. You know. There's a big difference between what people are actually that they're, they're creating these kind of ads. I mean, I, I, I obviously I create ads, you know, I, I'm putting out ads on my social media, you know, because, you know, one does. But, you know, it's not just about ads. It's also about the, the social side, you know, maybe doing a few rants, maybe doing a few a few kind of uh, lifestyle posts. Um, different kinds of posts that engage people in different ways because there are always going to be different types of people watching your posts. People are into different things. So, uh, you know, always think about your reach, um, reaching out, you know, your, you know, your audience. Um, and, and, you know, honestly, guys, the more you interact, and I have a lot of conversation with people in private messenger, um, you know, even, even some people who, you know, are trying to sort of you know, use scripts on me, you know, I've never, never spoken to them before, they're coming into my inbox, um, obviously, they're going to pitch me on something. But you know, sometimes, just starting that just keeping the conversation going a little bit, you know, you're, you're, you're actually developing followers. And, uh, you know, if you accept their friend request, and you and, uh, you know, you just, you know, you're just completely blunt with them. And just say, I'm actually not interested, I'm very, very focused. Um, but it's great to meet you anyway, thanks. Um, I'm sure we'll come across each other's posts on our timeline or, you know, whatever. And then that's usually the end of it. And then they usually respect that. And that's fine. But, you know, the more conversations you have with people, you can steer the conversation the way you want, really. If you're civil and you have a, you know, you know, I mean, obviously, if people get too persistent and they go on and on, you know, block them. Absolutely. But give them that opportunity. Be be kind. Be Be civil. Um, because the more conversations you have with people, the more likely those algorithms from Facebook are going to twig that, uh, um, you know, you guys are interacting. Therefore, they're going to more likely see your timeline, your posts. OK, but if you're not posting, it's such a waste. So, you know, when you start building up those not only friends on Facebook, but also followers. OK, then um, they're more likely to see the posts, you know, it, it, it is the unfortunate thing that now Facebook has become a place where, you know, it's difficult to get that audience sometimes, you know, back in 2017, 2016, it was very, very easy to get 200, 300 or, or more, you know, likes, um, you know, onto your, onto your um, Facebook posts, I mean, comments, you know, I, I, I could have uh, put stuff out there, you know, and, and uh, you know, in within a few days, I have about three or four or five hundred comments, you know, it was it was crazy, you know, but uh, now Facebook has, um, you know, slowed things down slightly, but it's still it's still great. I mean, the good thing that, that about that is, is that you're you're actually more likely to get more, in, you know, the, the, the real people, the good people, you know, once people are, are, you know, connected with you, and they're interacting with you, and they're socializing, they're going to continue to see your, um, you know, your posts, they're going to come up, they're going to show up on, on their timeline, because they're constantly interacting with you. Um, so that's why it's also important to follow up with people, you know, 
keep the engagement, keep keep the uh, keep, keep the connection with your with your people. And if you're you know if you feel you're getting a you know a lot of people who you're connected with who are not interacting with you and you're just going through, you know your 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 friends you know unfriend people you know it's it's no harm to unfriend people who are not really engaged then you know you can start growing your following with more engaged you know engaged people and as you get friend requests and trust me you're going to get a, a huge amount of friend requests if you go into those facebook groups and money making groups network marketing groups and start um, you know joining those those groups especially the ones where you see there are so many tens of thousands of people tens and hundreds of thousands of members in those groups Join them, and trust me, you're going to get a lot of people who are keen to, uh, you know, send you a friend request, and then they're going to come into your inbox. You know, so that's how the conversation starts. You know, back in the '90s, when I started network marketing in the mid to early '90s, if I came across such a platform like this, I would be all over it. You know, I would think, "Crikey, this is heaven." You know, as a network marketer, I was struggling to, you know, find people to prospect. You know, I ran out of my, you know, names list. You know, I, I, the first time I joined network marketing, my sponsor back then told me, write a list of names of 100 people that you know, that you've met, you've been to a you know, wedding party, you've got accumulated some business cards, write them all down on your list with a telephone number, and then get through that list. And I did, I got through it. But you know, it was difficult to find new people. But if I if we had such a thing like Facebook back then, Crikey, that would have been an absolute dream. That would have been amazing, you know. And to actually have people coming into your inbox, even though they were potentially going to spam you, so be it, you know. That's a chance to, to communicate with people. So Facebook is a, is a huge place, a, a haven of, you know, p potential uh, to build your business. And trust me, guys, when you're really excited, when you're really fired up about the opportunity that you're part of, you're going to just, you know, do whatever it takes. It's just going to absolutely make it happen. Um, you know, you're not going to, you know, you're not going to let your kind of your morals or or your kind of, uh, oh, it's not my style or I'm not that kind of person. You're not going to let that get in the way. You know, nowadays I talk to people, they're so fussy about how they market their business. You know, obviously you have to be ethical. But, you know, if I, for example, tell people, you you know, start a YouTube channel. You know, and I and so many people say, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to start a YouTube channel. You know, I, I'm not going to put myself in front of a camera or whatever. Guys, we're not asking you necessarily to, you know, use the phone like we used to back in the 90s. Uh, that was scary, <laughs> but we did it. It's all we had. I'm just saying, you know, use your phone, your mobile phone and create some video content and upload it onto YouTube. It's so easy. Um, but you don't necessarily have to use your face. You know, you can, uh, you know, I don't know, you can use PowerPoint or whatever. You can, you know, you, there are so many ways you can do it. All right. Faceless videos. That, that is a, it's a thing, you know. So anyway, guys, you know, I just want to I want to say, you know, I'm just focused on trying to help the team. It base, you know, in, in in just duplicatable ways, duplicatable methods. What do we mean by that? That doesn't mean that we're just trying to create methods that are comfortable for you forget that there are no such things as comfortable methods you know you've got to get out of your comfort zone no matter what you do but you've got to figure out some things that you're prepared to do you know uh, and just run with it okay so like I say when I was when I joined network marketing uh, you know in, in when I sort of rejoined network marketing um, and it was you know after Facebook had launched you know and everyone was on Facebook I didn't want to use Facebook. I had about 200 friends. Most of them were from my old school, people local from me. Um, I was too scared to run a, to to promote my business on Facebook because uh, you know worrying about what people think. Now, you know, they they are they are the you know the only people that really pay attention to anything that I'm doing on Facebook are the people re really within this industry. You know, my old family friends and my old school friends they don't even pay attention at all, and it's okay. Sometimes they do. Sometimes, you know, when I upload, you know, pictures of my children, suddenly they're, they're all of a sudden they're, they're, you know, commenting on my posts and that's fine. But, uh, you know, a lot of my posts about my, you know, my excitement about my opportunity, um, some, I don't know, network marketing related or whatever. Um, and they probably don't even notice. It, it's fine, guys. Just just do it. But yes, I was I was scared about doing that. And um but, you know, honestly, guys, this is something that everyone can do. It's duplicatable. Everyone has a Facebook profile. 
you know, you can easily set up an Instagram, you can easily set up a YouTube channel. Um, and, you know, just run with whatever you're prepared to run with, you know, it's not going to be comfortable, there's nothing out there that is comfortable. Okay, and even when you use Facebook, don't just do the comfortable things like create some kind of ads or whatever, or, you know, copy other people's stuff or just, you know, copy and paste because people know that people are not actually that stupid. People actually can sense that you're just copying other people's stuff. So, you know, get creative, you know, copying other people's stuff is fine, you know, um, up to a point, but, you know, do, you know, tweak it, you know, make it your own. This is your social media profile. Make it your own. Make it you. Get Let people learn about you because if they work with you, they, if, they, if they're prepared to work with you and join your business, it's, it's really you that's going to make them want to do that. You know, obviously the company is important, the products and everything, that's important. But, you know, this is a people business. It's a people industry. And, you know, people join people and they, they, they absolutely do. I mean, people have a choice they, they could, you know, and people do, they do go sponsor shopping and I don't frown upon that. Some people frown upon that. They think it's not right. I think it's fine. You know, and, and in fact, I will go far as to say that it should happen because there are so many disorganized and irresponsible sponsors out there. I've had a lot of people who have moved over to me. They asked and they requested the support to get transferred to me because their sponsor didn't want to help them or you know was off doing other businesses or whatever and they're just totally irresponsible so you know I understand that in nowadays people have learned their lesson they're not going to join just any old Tom Dick or Harry so if you're out there being Mr. Nobody and just not even showing your face okay you're not going to get people it's trust me you know you've got to be yourself you've got to get yourself out there um, otherwise people you know it's, it's, it's just you know, you can make up the excuses saying, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a dangerous thing getting your face out there or, you know, people, you know, I just don't want to do that or whatever. That, that's just an excuse. And I, and I understand. I get it. You know, people are scared about doing that. But, you know, at, at the end of the day, people are not going to want to join you anyway if they don't know who you are. So you've got to figure out a way of, you know, telling your story. Um, you know, just you've got to figure out a way of connecting with people. And that's the only way you can really be du duplicatable. All right. The other thing is what you've got to do is once they get on board, you've got to support them, get them plugged in there. Are, you know, we've got the webinars on the site, you know, that. So now, you know, I'm not really I'm not really focused on giving out marketing systems because that's in a way that's just really just reinventing the wheel. And there's no need to do that because, you know, thank goodness we are a part of an opportunity here with LiveGood where we've got four. We've got a whole list of about four or five zoom calls if you log into your back office of live good you click on the on the left menu you click on the link that says webinar schedules okay you click that and you'll see about four or five a list of about four or five um zooms that we do every single week and if you miss them it's fine because you can get the recording okay we've got the the product the monday product call it's really really good stuff um with ryan and lisa We've got uh, some trainings. Um, we've got the Thursday cutoff point. We've got the Friday um, Firestarter Friday training. You know, just plug in. Okay, get into the Facebook group. You know, I've got a Facebook group. We've got a bunch of Facebook groups. You know, my upline, Tim Miller. You know, the rest of them. They, they. We've all got Facebook groups that you can get into. And um, you know, in my seven day fast start guide, on the first page, you can click the button that gets you, allows you to get into those groups. OK, so, you know, absolutely, guys, you really do need to get yourself plugged in. And if you're if you're if you're moaning or you're making excuses that your sponsor's not helping you once you're plugged in, guys. OK, and it's not difficult to, to, to get plugged in. You don't even need your sponsor. All right. Now, it's great to have a sponsor if you have them. And, you know, it's you know, it's it's wonderful that you are, you know, that, that you can uh, get your connections, uh, you know, you can get yourself connected and so on. But if, if for whatever reason your sponsor is not doing what they should be doing to support you, then, you know, get with the upline, you know, because you can, you know, you can go into your back office of LiveGood, you can click the link that says my enroller, but you also get to see who the upline platinum is and you get to see who the platinum upline diamond. But my advice is if you do contact those people, uh, be respectful. You know, just say to them, give them a little bit of a background story about you. Introduce yourself. Tell them the reason why you're 
you're seeking up line for support, you know, tell them maybe, you know, tell them your sponsor is not there to help or whatever, or your sponsor is not, you know, I'm, I just feel, I just feel nobody's helping me or whatever. So that's why I'm contacting you, you know, j just uh, you use a little bit of courtesy. So, you know, get in touch, you know, with your line of support, just so simply so that you can get yourself plugged in. Once you're plugged into the groups and once you know where the webinar schedules are, per you know each week and get yourself plugged into the youtube channel of live good you can do a quick search on on youtube for the live good youtube channel the official channel and then you'll get those lives um you can subscribe and get the notifications you know you're, you're plugged in you know at the end what the only thing that's left is 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 down to your commitment your excitement um your readiness all right that's what that's what's that's what's left all right so if if you're if you're just moaning to your upline or saying oh I've been doing this for three or four or five months and nothing's happening, you're not doing enough, all right? You're, you know, and, and really the only response from your sponsor would be okay, double it, <laughs> double your efforts, okay? That's really the only that's the only you know response that your sponsor you know is is required to say, you know. Uh, just watch your sponsor. Get, that's another reason to get on social media. You know, there's a lot of people. Get connected to the, all the people in the in the you know in in the company. Um, find out who the, who the who the leaders are. You know, when you come onto the Fire Starter Friday Zooms, you'll get to learn who Trisha Costa is. You'll get to learn who Curry Russell is, the the Upline Diamonds. Okay, search them out on Facebook. Send them a friend request. See, you know, you don't have to talk to them, but just see what they're doing. Just check out their timeline, see what the kind of things they're doing. And you'll see that, wow, I can duplicate this kind of stuff. I can do that. I can post, I can, I can write, you know, I can send pictures and stuff like that. So guys, get yourself plugged in. Don't overcomplicate this. You can do this. And I look forward to working with the new people. Okay, let's get you plugged in and get you supported. Thanks for watching, guys. And see you on the inside. Okay, bye for now.